The overall goal of this procedure is to demonstrate how to synthesize combinatorial libraries containing peptide tertiary amide, or PTA, units. This is accomplished by first preparing a PTA submonomer from natural amino acids. The second step is to synthesize a peptoid linker region on a solid support. Next, a combinatorial library containing PTA and peptoid subunits is synthesized. The final step is to characterize the synthesized library to ensure the quality of the synthesis. Ultimately, a combinatorial library containing conformational restricted PTA subunits is synthesized and such a library can be used for high throughput screening to provide protein ligands and lead to new drug discovery. So the chemistry that uh, is the subject of this article was developed in, in an attempt to try to find molecules that were much stiffer than some of the peptoids and other things we'd worked with previously. The idea is that if one uh, identifies libraries of stiffer molecules, then they'll bind to protein targets with much higher affinities, and we thought this was very, very important in trying to develop drugs moving forward, or, or even interesting probe molecules. Visual demonstration of this uh, PTA submonomer synthesis is really critical, as the synthesis is hard to learn, because the temperature and the timing control are really critical to a successful synthesis. First, add 8.9 grams of D-alanine and 11.9 grams of potassium bromide to a 500 milliliter three-neck round bottom flask with a magnetic stir bar.